Hey everybody, welcome to Runaway Roses. On this episode, we're gonna install some Timberins to give my truck some additional support and stability while under load. Stay tuned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install some Timberins on my truck. Why? Because when I have a truck camper on the back of our truck, it sags quite a bit, like three inches, three and a half inches. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install these to help with the stability and the load of the camper. So our camper, our old one that we had on there weighs about 2,600 pounds plus all of our stuff that was inside it. And uh, we're gonna try out a new camper this weekend and it's even heavier. It's like 800 pounds heavier. It's like 33, 3,400 pounds plus our stuff. So I wanted to put some additional support in the back of it and my truck is a 2019 3500 single rear wheel. And it does not have um, some additional uh, helper springs in the back. It just has the stock uh, suspension leaf springs in the back. Uh, but my truck is rated for 4,465 uh, pounds of payload. So it's a strong truck, but once you get that kind of weight in the back of it, you know, 3,500 pounds or so, the back end droops down and the front end goes up. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna install these and we're gonna do a little comparison before and after. I see how much the, the truck sags and uh, see what it is at stock height with the camper on it and uh, without the uh, Timberins. And then we're gonna put the camp, we're gonna install these, put the camper back on and then see how much the, the truck droops in. So let's get to it. With these Timberins, these are what they call severe service, according to their website. And uh, on the severe service, according to their website, is for truck campers and uh, salt trucks. So they're rated for a heavy load. It's a little bit shorter, it's thicker rubber, and it's just ready to support heavier loads. These are what's called a uh, single convoluted system. Then they have a double convoluted system that looks more like this. Uh, you'll see those for a lot for uh, some heavy duty trucks and half ton trucks. And they're supposed to give you a little bit smoother ride. These are gonna be a little bit uh, stiffer ride just because they're made for a heavier load. So, but that's what I'm gonna try out because according to their website, it says made for truck campers, slide in truck campers. So that's what we're gonna put on. Let's check them out. Here's the box that the Timberns came in showing uh, just basically what they do for you as well as the model number. DRTT 3500D. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna measure the truck completely unloaded. We're gonna measure it to the bottom of the uh, fender here at the fender well. Let's just see what that is. We got right at 42 inches there. So that's pretty close. Let's load up the camper without the timberance, see what happens. As you can see here, the camper's loaded up. We haven't completely pulled the legs, uh, retracted the legs all the way, but uh, it's okay. It's completely off the ground and on the truck. So you can tell it's sagging a good bit in the back end. As you can see here with the original springs, the leaf springs are down to the real stiff helper spring on the bottom. So it's under full load right now. And I'll crawl underneath and show you the distance of the original bump stop to the axle. So here you can see that is the original factory bump stop up against the rear axle there, or it's not up against it, but it's close. If I can get the tape measure out here, I will measure the distance and show you how much room I got left. We've got about two inches between the top of the axle and the factory bump stop. Okay, now that we have the camper on the truck, let's go ahead and measure the wheel well height and see what happens. See how much of a difference there is. So now we are at about 38 and an eighth. So that means it is basically sagging three and three quarter inches. 
with that kind of weight. So we're talking, this is gonna be close to 4,000 pounds. It's uh, about 33 th uh, and a half. I think it's 3360 something from the factory. And uh, according to the sticker inside the camper, plus all of our stuff. So, you know, we're probably talking 38 to 4,000 pounds on the back, so it's a lot of weight. So it's sagging three inches, three and three quarter inches. So that's a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and take the camper off and we're gonna install the timberance and see what happens. We are back underneath the truck with the truck camper off of the truck. And I'm about to put the timberance on. So I just wanted to show you uh, the factory bump stop is about three, or I'm sorry, four and three quarters inches between the bottom of the bump stop and the axle. So with a the loaded, there was about a two inch gap. So uh, without it, or, there's a four and three quarter inch gap. So let's put the timbers on and see what happens. So with our kit, it comes with the timberin, a spacer, and the bracket. So this is the bracket that I'm gonna be putting in place of the factory bump stop. And the timberin is gonna to attach to that. But this kit does come with a spacer that you can put in there and then put the timberin on the bottom of that in case you have a lift or something like that on your truck. Uh, you need a little bit more space. Um, I just kind of eyeballed it and just by putting this up there, it looks like I'm gonna have about a half inch above the axle and it calls for between a half inch to an inch and a half space above the axle. So just like this, without the spacer, should be what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. I'm going to basically put a bolt down through the center of the timberin and it screws in to the bottom of the plate. Use a, use a washer and the bolt and I'm just gonna put some blue Loctite on there just because. So let's get to it. Got a slot. Yeah. I think it's close all the way forward. Just need the hair back. That's gonna be fine. Hair back from forward. Yeah. Here you can see we got the new timbers in on each side. And if you can see that okay, there's about a half inch between the top of the axle and the bottom of the timberin. I'm not on perfectly level ground, but uh, you can see there is some space there. So basically we just put that bracket in with the timberin there mounted to it. So we're gonna go ahead and get out from underneath the truck, load up the camper and see what happens. Now that we got the camper back on top of the truck, let's go ahead and take a measurement with timberins on. It is about, about 39 and 7 eighths. And if I remember correctly, I think we were at 38 and an eighth. I'll check back. So that's what, uh, an inch and three quarters difference. So that's a big difference, inch and three quarters for the back end sagging. And just the, the stability factor that should come into play. We're gonna go take it for a drive and see. But with that weight being on the axle, there's not as much room for flex and movement in the back. So hopefully we're gonna be good to go. Let's go see if they're any good. There it is, there's the timbering. I gotta put a flashlight on, it's getting a little dark under here. So hopefully you can see it okay. It, uh, it's sitting right on top of the axle, it's dead center on top of the axle, so. They seem to be working real well so far. We're gonna get out and go for a drive and see how it does. 
It is just looking so much better than it was with the factory setup. So very cool. Let's go see if they're worth the money. So the Timbrons are on. We just took it for a little test drive. So far it's riding great and far more stability. Uh, the back end's not floaty like it was. I mean, it still floats a little bit, but not near what it was. So it's way better. Uh, we are going camping this weekend. So before I do my final review on them, we're going to go camping and uh, we're going to put some mileage on them. And then when I get back, I will close it out, but you will see that here in just a moment. But so far, I'm super excited. They're working really great, but uh, we'll see how they do over the weekend. So here's what the Timberns look like with a full load on them. Sorry for, for the wind here, if you're hearing any. So they squash down quite a bit, but uh, they're working, working great. We're back from camping, we had a great time and the Timberns work great. Uh, they really held the weight of the truck camper really well, and they helped cut back on the sway of the, of the truck with the camper being on there, being kind of top, top heavy. So it really worked well. I was real happy with them. Um, were they worth the money? I would say yes. Uh, they, the particular ones that we had, they were uh, I think our $317 plus tax, whatever. So it was like $336 or something. So, you know, they weren't cheap. Uh, some of them you can get are, I think around $200 or so. Uh, but would I buy them again? I would say, yes, I would. Uh, what if, are they as good as you know, an airbag? Probably not. I, I don't really know. I don't have those on my truck, so it's hard to compare, but, uh, for the money and I think the, the cost savings, um, they work great and you know just for general driving around town without them uh, the past few days It's been great. I don't really notice them uh, For the most part that they, it's still got a smooth ride when I hit uh, a real bad bump You, you might feel them a little bit um, But other than that uh, generally, I don't really notice them being on there So I think there there was it was a good purchase worth the money for me. Yes in my opinion So hope that helps somebody and we'll see you next time and Runaway Roses. Bye-bye.